What's up, I Like Scary? We are back. I hope you all having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It feels great to be a horror fan. So you all, today we'll be talking some more about the Halloween franchise and what could possibly happen next, what they can do with this franchise next, and I think this can possibly work. So, before we get started, definitely smash the like button because it definitely helps. And yeah, make sure you subscribe so you get notified every time I drop another video like this. So, you know, we've been talking about numerous things, how the Halloween franchise can make a return, how it could come back and, you know, make a big effect on horror again, how it did with the trilogy. Look, this is crazy. So, we've been talking about a direct sequel to Halloween 4, which, you know, all of us want to see Daniel Harris back, Jamie Lloyd and everything. And I always say it, I think that route is definitely a cool route to go, but it is definitely hard. It is definitely a hard route due to... You know, people not understanding timelines and everything. So I think that can definitely, you know, kind of make things hard to put that out in, you know, the theaters. So, man, I've been thinking about this. What if we got another trilogy? Now, when I say trilogy, you guys, this is going to be an interesting trilogy. I think, like, if I could do this, I would do it, you know. Um, a trilogy starting off with a reset. Now, this is crazy. So... What I mean is, okay, we reset the whole franchise, right? We reset the whole franchise, and we start from the beginning of Halloween 1963 with Kid Myers taking out Judith. We start with that, right? And we had that little, you know, thing going on, and it, you know, goes to 78. Now we have Adult Michael, and he he comes back to hide and feel, and, and he does what he does. That alone right there is the beginning of this trilogy, Halloween 78. Then we can do our own version of like a Halloween 2. We can get a Halloween 2, um, you know, if you want to go that hospital route, go that hospital route, whatever route you want to go. You can even start from a fresh story with Halloween 2. Hell, you can just make it seem like, you know, Michael just got up out that backyard. He's back in Haddonfield, continuing in the same night with a different group of people. You could do a time jump. Um, I would like to see that. Like, may, maybe okay. Even a time jump would be crazy. So, say when Michael basically got shot down, um, off the balcony, he gets up, kind of similar to how it was in the flashback. They showed we they showed us what happened afterwards. He ends up in the alley with Hawkins, which is a very cool scene. But we have Michael just go out, you know, into the darkness. Maybe to, even to another town or something. Who knows? We just see him get up. He never got, you know, obtained and took the Smith's Grove or anything like that. You know, we just have Michael out there. Now he's became this urban legend, this myth of Haddonfield, right? And that alone right there can, you know, we get a time jump that Michael makes a return back to home. You know, that's the magnet to him, him returning back to home. So if he comes back home in part two, that already creates a whole other story. You know, him on his journey to home, he's going to take people out. And then you could do a third film, you know. Originally, Halloween season, or season of the Halloween three season of which was technically the third film, but you know how people feel about that. Personally, I love it. It's grown on me since I was a kid. But this will give us, you know, another chance with the franchise. You gotta follow me. So kind of take Halloween three out. Now we got a real live third film for Halloween with Michael in it full blown. Right there alone is the trilogy. You could tell the story in those three movies. You know, I know I'm not trying to disrespect H2O, Halloween 4, 5, Resurrection, all that. But you know what I'm saying? Like a straightforward Halloween story ending. You know, we got the beginning of 78. We got the middle and we got the end. It's pretty much like three movies that's telling the story and boom, that's the end. David Gordon Green took place off of 78, made his, uh, you know, direct sequel equal to 78. Then he did Kills and he did End. So that was his three films. I'm saying start the trilogy from a reset. What I mean, you know, what I mean by that is like completely start fresh from Michael opening up the drawer. It's your own vision. Do what you want to do with it. Just make sure you pay respect to the franchise and you know the story of Michael Myers. But I think that would be so crazy, bro. I was just thinking about that. Like, I would love to see that. Like someone being able to tell the Halloween story in three movies. You know, just kind of just a straightforward, solid story. None of that extra shit, you know. We, we got a lot of extra stuff in like Halloween 5 and 6, The Cult of Thorn and all that. No, just three straightforward movies. Like like I said, you can have that reset. I'm sticking to that. You can have Aaron Armstrong as the shape. And you can have a story continue. You know, you can even have, a, you know, a Laurie Stroll. Pick a, a young lady out there in Hollywood that resembles Jamie Lee Curtis that has that vibe. Whatever, you can even, yeah, yeah, just go that route and have that, that teenage aspect through Haddonfield. I think that would be crazy. 
and just tell your story tell your story because when you promote that out and with a trailer a new beginning you know uh, a new story told people are gonna be like oh so they're remaking it and that's what's gonna bring a crowd to you know the theaters and be like okay they're remaking halloween this is not continuing so this is a fresh start like similar to what rob zombie did you know his just you know i love 2007 halloween but his just turned out to be bad towards the end you know i posted i got a third film with rob zombie's films but it didn't push forward it's gonna be actually in 3d but I think that'll be crazy, like similar to like the flashback, you know, that, that look, that grainy look, you know, the the cops, how the cops look, and how Aaron Armstrong looked at the, as the shape, the scenes with the with Lonnie and the Mulaney's, you can definitely pull off a freaking reset, a reset at Halloween. And you know, like to like movies like, you know, X, um, the black phone, you can really take that look and run with it. And I think that um that will be a perfect way to do it when Halloween comes back. You know, do that reset, do that second film, do that third film, close out the story. You know, um, that will be a call. I will be interested in that. I don't know about you guys. Comment down below, but I can just see it after seeing that flashback and kills. You know, Michael. We get and they had a younger Michael and kills that looked it just like him. So I think that will be crazy. Have that opening and, and just have that look and the story retold and boom. You know, 78. I would like actually love to see that. I'm not saying that they can possibly do it because of kills. And keep the score the same, kind of. I can keep that creepy theme. And just have the story told with just a little bit of more twist. And what I mean by twist, and also adding your own, you know, vision to it. Similar to how I'm going to stick to this. Allison, Vicky, and Dave. You can make your dialogue similar to that type of dialogue. Your character similar to those type of characters. You know, I think that will work. You know how Danielle Harris and Scout was and Rob Zombie's like, you can um really do stuff like that to make it have a new feel. And I think that's what the next guy should do that takes on Halloween. And man, imagine that we're getting all these scenes remade, but with a with a different person's vision, but kind of still paying respect. I, I, I have no one, you know, in front of Aaron Armstrong as Michael in the next film. Like he killed it. In the flashback from him, what he did to, you know, Hawkins' partner when he's walking down the stairs. And Hawkins like, I said, stop. And he's shooting it. And it's like at the wall. And he's just walking. He's standing right there. Bro, they can kill a, a reset at Halloween 78. They can kill it. Um, And yeah, like I said, then when the second film comes, you can go that Halloween 2 route with the hospital. You can make it the same night type of thing. He goes on to, like, do, you know, things with other crowds. Oh, uh, you know how the Halloween Return script was. I kind of like that. How you know maybe we can even get that shot where Michael gets up in the POV, and we're kind of following him for a moment to see where he goes. And you know he's kind of like you know standoffish right now. He's not going back home because he's very smart. And you know he's killing other people that creates another you know, story on the sideline. But yeah, or like I said, in all reality, one thing I always thought about. We seen the um, flashback and kills. Michael went back to the house um, that night after he he got shot off the balcony, and you know. It would be crazy to see a Halloween where they actually take down the house. They take the whole foundation of the house, then they burn it to the ground because of the stories and everything that happened. It's still standing years later, you know what I'm saying? I think in all reality, that house would have been burned down. Like someone, like, you know, a mob or something would have just took that house down. I thought that was going to happen in kills. They were going to just, you know, basically bulldoze the house and, um, you know, just knock it down to nothing. And it just became something where, you know, it actually... It's just nothing there. And I want to say, is it in Halloween Kills? I want to say in one of these books that they actually took the house down in Halloween Kills. Maybe I'm tripping out in the Halloween Kills novel. But uh, I think that would be crazy for a sequel where you got Michael out here trying to target, you know, his house and go back home. Whole time is nothing there. And that creates a whole story alone. Kind of how in Halloween ends and forced him to go to the cave. But that I feel like... That was too late. I feel like it would create a bigger problem if you introduced that earlier in the trilogy. And now you got Michael out on the loose. So that makes a lot of, you know, aggressiveness and animosity in the third film. You know, I think that would have been crazy. And if we would have seen it, you know, Michael and Michael probably just standing across the street just looking, you know, and he just walks off into the darkness and it creates an anger in him. You know what I'm saying? I think that would be crazy for a second film. And it kind of, you know... He's on a rampage, similar to Kills. He's just killing everyone because his house is jacked up. And he, he has nothing to go back to. And the third film, you can close it out how you want. You know, it could be a full circle moment, whatever you want to do. I just was thinking about that, like, man, for the next person 
just doing a, a you know a trilogy sticking to the rules telling the story your way but just paying respect keeping some of the methods that cannot be changed in your trilogy and your the reset of halloween 78 i think things like that bro could work like you know seriously because because i think that just because rob zombie did what he did doesn't mean another person want to fail at it you got to love the franchise and i think sometimes <clears throat> people think they love the franchise but it's not as much as they think they do because i feel like you know halloween it's a lot man it's a formula it's a very thin you know thin line between certain things with halloween and it's a, it's a straightforward formula and i think that this could be a way first off to introduce them into a different lane it can make things you know ongoing for the future for halloween and, and stuff like that and i just think that this needs to happen after what happened it ends a full reset but also make it a trilogy three stories told to wrap the story up and um i can't wait to see if, if something like this happens man I'm, I'm really like damn this should happen you know i really think or even if you wanted to do it you can go prequel first 78 second third film you know what i'm saying you can do a lot with that man prequel first i heard about a prequel you know people saying they would like to see a prequel so a prequel first 78 second and the last film and whatever you want to do with that you know wrap up the story Comment down below what you guys think, man. Do you guys think that this could possibly be something that works for the franchise? Let me know down in the comments. But unfortunately, it's the end of the video. Don't forget to hit me up on my social media. at I like scary on Instagram. I like scary underscore on TikTok. Right on Facebook. I like scary on Twitter. And yeah, you are right there where it says join. Definitely try to click join to become a patron. Get exclusive content and benefits of the channel. And yeah, you all, I want you to watch some horror movies. Stay scary out there. I love you all. Peace. Until next time.